Deadline is reporting that the advanced ticket sales for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is currently outpacing the Avengers, Furious 7, and Deadpool, which has sold as many as $25 million worth of tickets. A similar figure close to The Dark Knight Rises, which opened with over $160 million in 2012. Deadline also estimates that it will debut at le- with at least $140 million domestic and upwards of $340 million globally, with the trade cautioning that those numbers are very early numbers which will likely change drastically over the next few weeks schnapp what do you think of the advanced ticket sales for batman v superman dawn of justice yeah i think they're just gonna keep going up and up and up as more people are like oh wait we could buy tickets now and realize everything is going to be sold out on wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday everyone's going to just gobble up those tickets they're going to open up more theaters more tickets are going to get sold you know, we we're, were talking about, you know, what is it going to make over opening weekend? All of us are like kind of chiming in. At least I, I'm chiming in. It's over 200 million opening weekend. It seems like it's going to easily do that. I'm not betting um, against you anymore. Um, I'm just saying it's like, <laughs> I, you know, everyone just it's like it's it's almost like you wake up and you're like eating breakfast. Like, I wonder what's happening with Batman v Superman because there's a relentless amount of, of you know, to trailers and photos, especially if you live here in uh, in Hollywood, California. You're like everywhere you look, there's a Batman v Superman. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't even sandwich here. It's Batman. I can't. What's happening? I might as well see the movie and i was planning on seeing it anyway i love how cocky the oracle known as schnepp is now because like because he, he made his prediction and he just kind of was just oh they made 200 million you know like he's yeah. not even declaring it like he did with deadpool i think it's going to be around 200 million i think it's going to get i think it's going to be like 200.0001 million because look i just do not trust tracking numbers anymore this past year in 2015 was proof that they just don't know how to track movies as well as they used to be able to you used to be able to take it to the bank oh this movie looks like it's going to make this and it was pretty accurate and then you have movies Movies like the Fast and Furious movie or Jurassic Park or even Star Wars, nobody could anticipate how much money these movies were going to do, particularly when it comes to an opening weekend. So I think $140 million is really low. And I wouldn't, if I'm a Batman v Superman fan, I can't wait to see this movie. So I am. I would be disappointed with that number. Christian, what do you think it's going to make right now? And do you think, do you believe this report that it could be you know, adding to some steam as we get to the release. Definitely adding to some steam because we've been saying this since the beginning. Batman and Superman are the two most iconic superheroes of all time. And now they are fighting each other for the most part. Um, We see that. We're curious about it. And you're also coming off of a Man of Steel movie. Um, I really enjoyed the film. I think you really enjoyed it. I love it. Um, And I think that, you know, there's some people who thought it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. But, But it did well. And it also proved that Henry Cavill's a damn good Superman, and that's our Superman now, and he's fighting against a brand new Batman, which is fine. And I think people are super excited to see that, and that's why the the anticipation is getting higher and higher, but the number, and I do this every time, and I'm going to keep doing it because I'm stupid, Uh, I think... 170. I'm not gonna. I don't think it's gonna. Maybe it's 175. I don't. And I, and which is a big number. Giant. I just think the two and a half hours is going to lessen the amount of theaters. That is like what's it? 240? 230? It's like 230. Yeah, 230. Yeah. But just you're right. That, that cho- that's usually like chops off an hour of another film that's, that could be playing. That's so, the only so. reason why. And I just think it's in less theaters uh, than it's, uh, you know other movies that have made the 200 plus. But I, I'm not. You know, it's it's you here. So if you say it's going to make 400 million, then it probably. <laughs> You see what he did with your prediction? He's like, yeah, it's cute that you got close to what and was actually going to be right. It's like when you when you you're sitting at the table with a guy and you and you see the tracking numbers and it's at 140 and you go, yeah, like 165, 170. And this guy goes, yeah, it'll make 700 million, and it makes 700 yeah. million. He's, got, it's like, he's, he's Mike Tyson. Yeah, I'm taking him to Vegas. I mean, I, I'm looking at the at the message boards right now too. We want to know what is your guy's number. Go ahead and throw it in there right now. Comment on this vid. Let us know. Obviously, we want your take on Indiana Jones. This is going to be an Iron Man four, but I want to know what your number is going to be. Do you think the Oracle known as Schnepp is right? Do you think Christian, who by his own admission called himself stupid yeah. not two seconds ago, do you think he's right? I'd like to address something that someone had said in the comments too. They said, well, you keep mentioning the time length. Star Wars was an equal length. I think Star Wars, um, and I think that you brought this up maybe on Mailbag, was it, it's the generation thing too. I think there was some, there's like, I know my mother who wanted to see Star Wars not interested in Batman v Superman. I think that the gener- the generations are maybe more pulled towards Star Wars because of how many years it's been around. Not that Batman and Superman haven't been around for a very long time, but as far as a film franchise, and this is a brand new thing, it's a little darker too. It's it's not as as family. I that's that's kind of what I would say. But like I said, I could be dead wrong, and this thing could 
beat Star Wars. But that's just kind of my rationale between the two. What's weird, Christian's mom, not a Batman fan, hardcore Spawn fan. I don't know how yeah, that true. happened. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.